Welcome to River City Live. I see I'm still in the spirit, the red, white, and blue spirit. So I am not. Hopefully you had a fantastic July 4th celebration and you got to see some great fireworks. And if you didn't get outside to see them, you saw them right here on News for Jacks. Did you do anything fun? I uh, caught part of the News for Jacks, but I... We uh, saw this stuff where people were saying, hey, where's a great place to go watch fireworks? Or, yeah. you know, I want to go here or there. I posted up in my neighborhood, got me a lawn chair, had some friends and the family close by, and just sat there as like one end of the block, boom, one end of the block, boom. And I mean, the display was just as good as anything I would have seen anywhere else. So, I mean, it was a good night for me, except for the wife, she had to take care of the dog. That's, well, that was my job. Oh, really? That was my job. But. But we're, we're kind of like you. Well, we used to do the whole, like, buying the under-the-table fireworks, you know, lighting them <laughs> off and all that. But, but then we found out, you know, it's like when, what they say about people with boats. It's uh -huh. great to have a friend with a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great to have friends in the neighborhood that are lighting the fireworks off because it's free. And you can sit there and you can watch and you get to keep all your fingers and all of that. So we um, had a lot of that in our neighborhood. But I was laying, like I said I was going to do on mm -hmm. Tuesday, I was laying on top of my dog the whole time. After the drugs kicked in, I could get up. You know, her drugs, her yeah, drugs. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> and we drugged the dog, and she still was wide mm -hmm. awake. So she, so my wife was the dog's thunder blanket. That's what I was. I was so, a swaddler. I want to see because we've talked about it. You know, we've got the thunder jacket and all that. But I'm like, could we get a thunder blanket? You know, along with the thunder jacket, and then that would alleviate you. Having to, or my wife having to lay on top of the dog as a thunder blanket. Do I not tell you enough about my weighted blanket? I know about yours, but could you, because Why I couldn't asked, you put it on a dog? Well, I it's thought like about that. It's like a blanket that, but, that weighs 20 pounds. But the dog's going to keep, keep trying to get up, won't she? Yeah. Ours will. I don't yeah, know about. Probably. Yeah, so. Probably. But, you know, the fireworks, it's just a guilty pleasure that we all have yeah. for the 4th of July. And, I think we uh, all do. Yeah. Speaking of that, guilty pleasures, that's kind of mine, my weighted blanket, you know, getting under that and not getting out of bed yesterday. I slept till 1130. Oh, <laughs> you did yes, what? I did. <laughs> I slept until 1130 a.m. and I don't think I even got dressed all day. I think I had pajamas on the whole you day. You didn't run a Total race? Total guilty. No. Total guilty pleasure day. And that brings us to the first item in our River City Current this morning, which is people in America's top guilty pleasures. So what do you think of not showering as a guilty pleasure? I don't get that one at all. Like kids, it was a guilty, when I was a kid, it was a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Yesterday I took three showers. Yeah, I in Florida, you don't, that, that doesn't feel good. But 17% no. <laughs> of people called that a guilty pleasure. Stealing soap and shampoo from hotels. We don't condone it, but well, we understand. What? I've got some news for you. They know you're taking it. <laughs> you haven't really pulled any heist. <laughs> not some big caper you know you have unless you just like show up you're not actually at the hotel and you're like hey can i have some yeah that. <laughs> that's yeah, that. not good but either. if you put it in your suitcase you're not exactly sticking it to the man <laughs> they know they already know i uh, eating food in bed 23 percent guilty pleasure i know the word i know buying yourself a treat 35 percent i mean is that yeah yeah only 35 percent Mm -hmm. Admit it, nope. That's and then more another 35% called this a guilty pleasure, putting off a task. <laughs> that was me yesterday because I was going to clean out my closets. I was going to do all of this stuff since I had dog duty. I was like, okay, I'm just going to be home all day. I'm going to get all this stuff done. But every now and, and then you deserve a day like that I where you agree. do absolutely <laughs> nothing. I, I mean, again, I go back to the mom speak, but I took one of those or a couple of those the other day and it was like, ah, oh, so my brain felt better. Mm -hmm. I felt, and then once I got into the tasks that I want to do, I was more focused and mm -hmm. really trying to get them done faster so I could get back to vegging out. Got to veg out. <laughs> I'm glad you said vegging out because perfect segue for vegetables uh -huh. in your ice cream. What? Yep. Nope. Have you ever tried to sneak veggies into your kids' food? Well, how about into their ice cream? There's a Florida-based ice cream maker Jessica Levison, and she has this veggie ice cream. What do you think about that? Uh, I am against it, especially when I find <laughs> out what is in it. So the thing is, every what they say, everything still tastes like ice cream. But, like, you look right here, the chocolate ice cream has cauliflower in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm passing on that. Uh, the vanilla has hidden zucchini. Strawberry has carrots in it. Oh, my. Cotton candy pint is made with beets. beets. And Ian, we know how much you love beets. I do love beets. So you would be all in for this veggie ice cream. I have to give the same warning I give you whenever I... <laughs> so 
All right, so Beats is like a really <laughs> popular thing for endurance athletes, right? Sure. So I drink beet juice before I race or before anything. So I gave this warning because it, it got me the first couple of times. Uh -huh. You just have to be ready when you're eating beets. You got to know, you got to remember that you had beets or otherwise you think you're dying. That and asparagus, <laughs> two totally different entities, but when you okay. eat them, you're like, but if it's wait in, a second. If it's in your ice cream, you can <laughs> yeah. easily forget. So I just want to remind you. But anyway, I think it's a great idea. I don't think you're going to like the price. No. Eight, $8 a pint. Yeah, and you can't get it in stores yet. You have to order it from peekabooicecream.com. So if you guys try it, try it, make a video, and send it to us. We'd love to hear your response. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we'll step up into it ourselves. But you know one thing I really hate? I was just saying how much I'm not a big fan of veggies in my ice cream. I will try it, people. I'll give it a shot. I've eaten vegetarian food. But one thing that I'm really not a big fan of, all the air that you have in your potato chips. Yeah. So you go to the store, you get your chips, you pay X amount of dollars. Let's say you get a full bag of three bucks. There's so much air in there, it's like, am I paying for the air or the chips? Well, there's actually a science behind that, allegedly. So uh, <laughs> they said that Cheetos and Ruffles have 50% air, Doritos 48%, and it goes down the list. Fritos 19% air. The process is known as slack fill, which is even thought to make chips taste better. Now, it isn't harmful in any way since 78% of the air we breathe is composed of nitrogen, but the gas inside the bag gives the chips some extra cushion since it has such a long way to travel. But I want my chips. Who put out that scientific survey? Is that from Big Chips? <laughs> because to me, it seemed, has, haven't you always thought it was just the chips company trying to get away with giving you less? Yeah, I did, but That's I mean. That's pretty cool, though, that they have actually broken it down like that. It's still, I want. I don't want what I pay for. I want the chips. I don't want to pay for the air. I got the, mm. I got air. How Free. about, how about this? How about, <laughs> but that does make the bags pop really good too. Okay. So how about when you're paying for food, but it's going to waste? You know who is the guiltiest of this? Healthy eaters. Studies have found that people who are eating healthy and wholesome food lovers are the ones that are throwing away the most food. Think about how much sense that makes, though. You're buying fresh fruits and vegetables. You're buying things that aren't frozen. And you don't get to them in time. And I have to say we're very guilty about this in my house. You have to, oh, well, you don't have to. You do whatever. But you have to consider when you're buying fresh fruit and veggies, like, mm -hmm. if you get it on Sunday, it better be gone by Tuesday, mm -hmm. maybe Wednesday, because then it starts to get a little soft. And if you pick, have picky eaters in the house, like kids or stuff, they're definitely not into it. So I understand. I don't condone it, but I understand. You know, I have a... a a habit that drives my family crazy and that's putting things in the freezer so they'll put some leftover spaghetti sauce or something in the fridge and then the next day they're looking for it I'm like I put that in the freezer because I knew <laughs> I knew you were never gonna get back to it in time so everything's in the freezer but then I don't mark it mm -hmm. so now we have a freezer full of <laughs> anonymous food and our producer Abby's in my ear saying that her mom did that too yeah it's annoying I know but I can't stand the idea of leftovers going Bad. No, I get that. But you got to mark them. Yeah, you got to mark them. Because I always, I always put them in there thinking, well, I'm going to remember. And now I have all kinds of stuff in there. But how much leeway do you give it? So you said, like, if you, they cook it Sunday, do you give it till Tuesday before you put it in the no, freezer? No, by no? Monday. Uh, by Monday, it's out of there. But they're still looking for it. It's good for another day. Yeah, but I can't take that chance. <laughs> It's a thing. I, I, I admit it. It's a thing. I cannot take a chance and have it go bad on my watch. Except for when I clean out the freezer, I throw away hundreds of dollars worth of food. Well, by then you made. don't care. Yeah, by then you don't care. You anyway. know who could use a freezer in our art squad? Our producer, Justin. Yeah? Yeah, I get sandwiches and spaghetti from him all the time. Cause yeah, because he doesn't want it to go bad. Yeah, so exactly. uh, thanks, Justin. I eat well, brother. Mm -hmm. We feed you, and then we send you out on a mission. And so where to this time?